live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's the one, the only, the unexpected thrill of a lifetime podcast. Hear ye, hear ye, step right up, we're back with the greatest show of all time. I'm Dan Fisher coming to you for the first time in a long time. Uh, These podcasts are a little bit far and few between these days. Uh, It's been a crazy, crazy year. And um, I mean, it's been all around. Personally, it has been a crazy year. But for everything else, business, worldwide, politics, it's been a whirlwind. Just in time for a new Twister movie to be coming out. I don't know if you heard, but the sequel, Twisters, will be coming out this summer, and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, That's just one of the few things we're going to talk about. we got a whole cast of characters on the show today. We've got... uh, Einstein the robot, we got Lil Bossy, we got Skater. My name is Skater, and I'm happy to be on the show. That's right, we're going to be talking to Skater later. We got our fake products as usual. We got FFN coming in with some, uh, you know, some of the fake, fake news, fake commercial, the pizza tour, all the rest. And we know you love that, and you love that a lot, and that's why me, the next President Donald Trump, will be coming and giving my thoughts on the debate and how awful Joe Biden is and was and the rest of the whole Biden crime family, and I'll tell you folks, it's going to be pretty big. That's right, we're coming back to you for the first time this year, episode 43 Today is July 10th, July 10th, boy, we're really moving right through this year, it's almost over, it's almost Christmas in July, right, which means we're like halfway through the year and stuff, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's sticky out there, you know, uh, we're, we're in an election year right now, and it's pretty, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty intense, not gonna lie. Um, the heat is pretty intense, you know, uh, global uh, warming or, you know, however you want to refer to it. The climate disaster. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. And this year was the year... Actually, I take it back. It was last year. It was uh, September 9th, I think, that Starfield launched... A game that I have been hyping up to myself and pretty much everyone else for a while. And I've got my crazy take on it this, this, uh, you know, this far out, you know. We're actually coming up on almost a year of Starfield. So I'm going to give you my take on that. I've got a couple of things to give you my take on. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to tell you about my year in hell. My year in hell! Help! Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Thank you, folks, for, for laughing. That's, that's, that's fantastic. We love you. We love you. And... Fantastic. Okay, well, back to the show. The Unexpected Thrill of a Lifetime podcast is coming at you. We've got a couple things to talk about. My friend here, uh, Einstein, the condescending robot, is here. And let me tell you something. He sometimes pokes fun and makes fun of me. I don't know why he does it. I don't know why if he should be allowed to do it. Um, but, you know, he, he, comes, he comes around here and he throws his weight around and he acts like, you know, big... Big Mr. You know, hot shot row. Anyway, without further ado, here's uh, the the AI Einstein condescending robot, uh, and, and here's what he has to talk about.
Hello. I am coming to you today with my new project. Hey! I, please, please hold your comment to the... A lot of people have seen Queen it's Bohemian Rhapsody. It was a major hit and continues to be a rock anthem. Today, the robotic ro version comes out called Robot Opera with songs like I'm just a cyborg, nobody loves me. He's just a cyborg from a poor factory selling his parts for a monstrosity. Is he human? Is he robo? Will you press go? Mama Mecca, Mama Mecca. <laughs> so please tune in to FFN in August for Robot Opera. Okay, well, that was uh, Einstein. He was dropping by for, I guess, a little skit or something. Uh, uh, I'm going to say it hit below the mark. I don't think we'll be having him on again. And uh, that, you know, that, that's, uh, that's, that's that. Well, anyway, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of videos coming out uh, recently. We have joined TikTok. Uh, so we're on there. We're on the TikToks, or Tic Tac, as uh, Skeeter likes to call it. Um, and that's okay, you know? Uh, we, got, we got a lot of new videos, and that has been sort of the centerpiece of the organization for the last, uh, you know, uh, actually pretty much this year so far. You know, I took a little break and shifted in the content that I was making. Um, you know, real quick, before we get to Skeeter, I, you know, uh, the serious music starts for the more serious times uh, in a person's life. But, um, yeah, this year, man, you know, I thought I'd be starting off uh, with, uh, you know, just different results, honestly. I was sort of doing a whole reinvent yourself thing. I got an e-bike. I've been, you know, riding six miles each way to work there and back, you know, just trying to take on more more responsibility, diversify my portfolio, whatever you will. And I started off the year in February with cutting off the tip of my thumb, which was kind of painful and depressing and had to go to the hospital. And then exactly uh, three months later, on April 12th, I fell off of my e-bike uh, on some hard cobblestone in Old City and I broke my wrist in two places and had to get major surgery for it. I was out of work for almost two months. Uh, very traumatic, very depressing. Um, there's a couple other personal things that I'm not really going to go into too much. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's been a tough year. I've been sick for the last week. Oh, God, every time. It's like that Led Zeppelin song. Sick again. Like, I'm sick again. It's a feeling of dread. We all know what it means to be sick again. And we never forget it because it's awful. It's horrible. But at Evil Carousel, we persist and we persist and we move on and we we get through things. So anyway, what I was going to say, if you were listening, is uh, is we have a lot of a lot of Skeeter videos, and Skeeter was going to drop by, and then we were going to give you a taste of one of them. Uh, basically, Skeeter is a character of mine, uh, you know, from sort of Pencil Tucky, if you will. Um, you know, sort of like a, like, I guess a northern redneck, you know, he's, uh, he's not an extremist, he's just a simple guy who gets a lot of things wrong and, uh, uh, mispronounces and misspells things and, uh, you know, but he's doing his best, you know, and I'm already starting to talk like him, but anyway, without further ado, 
My name is Skeeter, and today we're gonna talk about some videos. Now, if you're like me, uh, you know, these days all you can do is be on social media and put out content that'll try and, uh, you can monetize and, uh, exercise your First Amendment. You know, big tech, they're always trying to... Are always trying to shave your head and uh, you can't let that happen you know you got to keep the the hairs on your chest that spicy foods and puddles of mud gave you growing up metaphor you know so uh, so to speak uh, but anyway uh, I have a lot of videos on the Tic Tac and on YouTube and on the Instagram uh, you know I'm not really on X and I'm really not on uh, uh, what's that other um, Facebook? I'm not. I, I don't. I don't put my face in a book very often, and when I do, I. Well, you know, it's it's like having egg on your face. You know, you go online, you you say some things that aren't so nice, and you go, why did I? You know, why is any? Why is everybody being so mean? Why is everybody being so mean? And we don't know. You know, we're all just we're all just doing our best. You know, and. And, uh, personally, I, I think that, uh, there's a lot of good people out there. I think, uh, I think we have a lot more in common than, uh, you know, people might think. But what, what can you do? You know, what can you do? So, uh, Anyway, on my channel, uh, it, it, well, it's actually just the e Evil Carousel uh, YouTube, but there's a folder there that's called Skater. Actually, let me try that again. It's called Skater. Skater. But uh, wh whatever, you know. But uh, here, here's a short clip of, um, of one of my favorite videos now a lot of times I do try videos you know that like this week I've been trying all these different sodies for the 4th of July I did um, co uh, coke spiced I did uh, dr. pepper with coconut in it and uh, you know but I also got some fun stuff too like like this right here my name is Skeeter, and I'm going to show you around my Uncle Jimbo's basement. Now today, I thought I'd take you a little bit on an adventure out of the kitchen, so to speak, out of the, out of the skillet, whatever you want to call it. Now, as you can see, this basement is a whole lot of mess. We're going to be turning that around. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, it did not end very well. Now, this is an audio podcast, uh, so I know you don't know what happened. So, you know, you'll just have to go find the video. And, you know, it's called, uh, you know, I look at, uh, I show you Uncle Jimbo's basement. And Uncle Jimbo's basement is a mess. It's dirty. It's hellish. But, you know, there's a couple bottles of wine down there, and uh, they, that, never, uh, that never hurt your grandma, so to speak. Uh, anyway, my name's Skeeter, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see you next time. Uh, check out my channel, and uh, God bless you, and uh, God bless uh, ASU. All right, well, that was fun. Um... I just got to know from my producer the next song that I was going to play uh, can't be accessed for some reason. I'm not sure why. And that's the FFN theme song, and we can't continue the show without that. So, I don't know. We're going to give it a second and see if we can get it. Uh, I'm going vamp. No, I can't keep talking like that. Um, but, you know, I'll vamp for a minute, and, uh, and we'll see... You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But it was great to have him on the show. Uh, it's been He's been leading the charge of this huge uh, media empire that's been happening. And, uh, you know, he's just one leg of it, you know. Oh, and speaking of legs of it, uh, we have another, uh, another uh, uh, cast member to get to. Um, a good friend of ours goes by the name of Lil Bossy, 
Uh, but before that, we have a fake. Pro- uh, we have a, a product to tell you about today. It's very important. Uh, are you tired of the usual saran wrap that you go to? You go to use it out of the out of the cupboard, and it, it starts sticking all over itself, and it, it's all a mess, and it balls up, and you can't get it apart, and then you stretch it, and then there's a hole in it, and then you have to throw it away. Well, now there's an answer. Now there's an answer. That's right. We have the the new uh, Pat. We have Susan Sarandon here, and and and, uh, and uh, hi everybody. Well, it's, all right. Well, this is not a speaking role. Uh, basically, you're basically an extra, and we're putting your face to this product. You understand? Uh, but anyway, uh, so if you're tired of the uh, usual Saran wrap uh, shenanigans. But now there's the Susan Sarandon wrap. And the Susan Sarandon wrap, you know, it, it can it can be reused. It's nice and stretchy. It can uh, cover the product. It can cover your, your casserole. Uh, as, as Skeeter, again, another thing that Skeeter was saying is very influential. Uh, but the Susan Sarandon wrap uh, is, is a great product. It has great, great uh, uh, stickiness. Great, great uh, stickiness power, and it'll keep things fresh and sealed and, and delivered, sealed, signed, and delivered, as they say, uh, right to your door, right when you need it. And that was pretty fun. And now, now we're gonna just keep things moving right along. Uh, I told you before that we were going to have um, a a visit from a very, very uh, polarizing. And uh, not very inf- influential, to be honest with you, uh, person. He's, um, well, he's a soul bitch. Uh, but his name's Lil Bossy, and he's here to talk about his new, um, his new album that's coming out. And uh, I'm trying to see if I can see here. And here we go. Yo! Yo, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Yo, y'all ready to get bossed around? Yo, this is Lil Bossy coming to you right now. Yo, I'm coming out with my new album. I got some of my, 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 my homes, my dogs, my, my acquaintances, I, they're all coming down and we're coming to you with a new album called Mental Illness. And that's right, we're all, we, we're all men, we're all lined up, we're, you know, we're, we're making our peace, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're setting the, the record straight, and we're going to tell you the way it is. We're going to tell you how us men stay ill in these times, these trying times. They're trying to, the media is trying to pull you apart with politics. You know, they're trying to alter your golf scores. They're, they're, they're reducing your water pressure. And uh, we're not going to stand for that anymore. And I'm going to start bossing them around. You hear me? That's right, kids. Ah, that's not a joke. That's, a, that's, 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 yeah. All right, so, uh, first order of business. We're going to tell you how it is. This is mental illness, all right? We're going to tell you what it means. There's a lot of people out there who's not, they're not keeping it real. They're not even trying to keep it real. They don't want to keep it real. And, uh, you know, I'm just out here trying to keep it real. And, uh, you know, there is a certain state of mind you have to be in when you're committing crimes and beating women and uh, you know smoking crack and you know cutting your balls off and that's called mental illness all right there's a lot of mental illness out there we don't have it but we're ra- we're raising awareness with our new show and uh, so you, you you look for that new album on SoundCloud because we're you know we're not going on Spotify uh, and uh, and we're coming to you with a with an alt. We're coming with you with an alt alt right agenda, and it's gonna be in your face. That's right. This is a little bossy. 
I got another new song coming out uh, called This Dime Ain't Worth My Time. It's because when you're a working, when you're a fucking working man, your time is, is expensive. Am I right? Yeah, for real, for real. All right, I'm going to go find a... Uh, find one of them Johns and go piss up a flagpole, you know what I mean? All right, little bossy out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he literally just mic dropped. That was the, the sound of him just micing the drop. Dropping the mic, whatever you have to call it. Well, we're back to FFN News. I'm your host, Dan Fisher. With all the news being called fake today, uh, nowadays, uh, this is the real fake, fake news. This is FFN News. Unfortunately, our usual soundtrack is down with technical issues. We'll be looking into that. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. We'll get the music back. Don't worry about it. But anyway, here are today's top stories. The CEO and owner of Hellman's received a terrible letter from his son's school this week. The letter uh, happened to be this, his son's report card, and the report card was horrible. Uh, we do not have exact details on what kind of report it was or what kind of grades he had, but we do have a report for, uh, from the man himself where he said that he said to his son, Son? From May on, A's. That's it. From now on, from May on, A's. From May on, A's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a little bit echo here. Not too much, but yeah. All right. All right. Uh, a new uh, book was just released called Ab <laughs> Abraham Blinken. Uh, and, uh, it comes with some really, really interesting, uh, factoids on Abraham Lincoln and the cause of his death. A lot of people recognize that, uh, John Wilkes Booth was the killer and the man behind the gun. But new details have come to light that it was not a planned murder, but it was in fact that during the play, uh, Mr. Lincoln, President Lincoln himself, wouldn't stop talking. He was carrying on talking about this and that and ending slavery and blah, blah, blah. And everybody's on stage trying to la 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 and la 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 and, you know, singing and everything like that. And he's just up there causing a fuss. He's up there causing a fuss and people are booing him. Come on, get on with the show. And then all of a sudden, so let this be a lesson to you all, folks. Don't talk during a movie. Turn your cell phones off. Pay attention. Be present. Be there. Then, now, in the moment, all of the above. A new Roman tablet was discovered this week uh, under the mud and muck of Pompeii they keep finding more and more stuff from Pompeii and a volcano erupted uh, you know centuries ago and we're there and we're, we're still talking about this stuff now well this doesn't make any sense why it would be found in Pompeii so just forget that but new information was revealed about King Arthur and his round table. A lot of people are familiar with the legend of King Arthur and Excalibur and the Lady of the Lake and Sir Galahad and Sir Lancelot. Yeah, now you're now things are turning. You've heard Lancelot before. And uh, Sir Robin and not Robin Hood, but... And the Knights who say neat. No, but... Um, but a new uh, historical deep dive shows that uh, they got the idea for the round table. You know, they were sitting at a big, long, rectangular table for a while. But then one of the knights came up with an idea for a big round table so they could all see each other at once and sit in a circle. That night, of course, circumference. <laughs> 
local West Philadelphia man uh, says he's addicted to drinking brake fluid. That's right, he's drinking brake fluid, folks, and uh, I don't know about you, but I don't think that sounds very safe. Uh, apparently, the man says he can stop at any time. So I don't know what kind of addiction that is, but apparently he can stop at any time. Uh, a local um, f- uh, farm campaign, uh, 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 a, little, a local farm is campaigning, uh, trying to ri- ri- raise awareness. Uh, <laughs> they're raising awareness of dried grapes. Apparently it's a big problem. And also, uh, there was a green pepper uh, who was in the news earlier this week, and uh, we were we were interviewing him, and he said, "Yeah, I decided not to practice archery because I didn't hop an arrow." <laughs> we got a, a riddle for you this week, folks, and uh, if you had two coins totaling 15 cents and one of them is not a nickel what would the other what would the coins be give you a second to think about that one you got two coins totaling 15 cents one of them is not a nickel the answer is one of them is a dime and the other one is a nickel one of them isn't a nickel but the other one is a little brain teaser uh and this is another one uh, a man approaches a field and knows he is going to die. How is he going to die? He approaches the field and he knows he's going to die, but he can't do anything about it. What's the answer? Well, there could be a few different answers. But the one that I'm looking for is he was parachuting out of an airplane and his parachute wouldn't open. So now he is approaching the field. He is going to die. He can't do anything about it. How does he know he's going to die? The parachute won't open. Boom! What else we got for you today? We went. We did. We gave you the Susan Sarandon rap. We told you the Hellman's joke. We talked about Abe Lincoln. We talked to Skeeter and Lil Bossy and and the uh, Einstein, which was a complete disaster. Now I'm slandering him. Because that was awful. That was awful. Sort of like my year so far. That's right, it's a bad year for the men who fall off bikes. But it's okay. Oh, uh, another thing. Uh, We have a new sticker pack that's out. The sticker pack is $5. It comes with three stickers. Uh... And they're fantastic. They're fantastic stickers. They really are. And if you want to support this podcast and a broke-ass person like me, I mean, come on, $5? I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? (laughs) I don't have any other merch, okay? Not yet, anyway. I don't have a Patreon. I'm not monetized. I'm not making anything off of YouTube. But this is Evil Carousel on TikTok, YouTube, Xbox Live, Instagram. Uh, what's the other one? Well, it's not Twitter. I actually I think I do own uh, Evil Carousel on Twitter. But what's the what's the the other one? We don't have a Facebook, so don't even ask. Uh, re- not Reels. What is that one? That new one? It's not Scripts. Oh, it's bugging me. Well, that's all right. It doesn't matter. Um, but that's what we're doing. We've got stickers out. We're doing this or that. Uh, Starfield, I never really talked about it much. <coughs> I have to remember to edit that out. Um, <coughs> Starfield's a crazy game. Real quick, I'm just going to talk about an experience I had with the game. In most of the planets, there is a thing called uh, Enhance, where you can change the appearance of your character in any way that you want. You can even have a sex change, if you want. You can have a sex change. You can 
you change your hair, all of your features, everything. The way you walk, your the shape of your body. So my uh, argument is if you're going to... Uh, uh, what, what do you call it? If you're going to stare at a character running around a... Uh, a a screen for a month of your life while you're playing a video game like why not you know make it an attractive person and since I'm attracted to women I made it a you know a attractive looking Scarlett Johansson type character uh, so I'm, I did my first playthrough of the game and it was tremendous I think that game should get way higher remark re reviews than it did I think it was unjustified I think it was ridiculous, and the thing is, Bethesda games take a long ass time to play. They take a lot of hours, and this game, Starfield, was created to be played for a long time. I mean, there's over 1,200 planets. I mean, how do you expect to get through that in a limited amount of time? And I feel that the people who didn't like it didn't give it enough time, and, um... I think it's fantastic. So I did one long playthrough, and then my file was so large that it started to get corrupt. So I, I moved on and I started another game. And then my second playthrough, I made a character that looked just like me. And for whatever reason, I just did not care about that character. I guess maybe I'm a loser, but I just was like, I don't give a shit. I don't like playing as a guy as much. I don't know why. Um, but then, <clears throat> I went to old, good old Enhance, and had a sex change. And now I look like my first character again. Hot, blonde, blue-eyed, thin, you know, the works. And I'm back to loving the game. I love it. It's a great game. No complaints. Enjoying it thoroughly. I'll probably do another playthrough. There's tons of new features added. They're making the game better. They're adding things. I love it. I love it. And it's free on Game Pass. So if you haven't tried it yet, and you've been on the fence, and you're listening to this, and if you are, I'm pointing at you right now, and I know who the fuck you are. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've been trying very hard not to say that phrase anymore. The... IJK. So we'll give this another go. I know who you are. You're you're not playing the you're not playing Starfield, and that's okay. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But if it is, give it a shot, you know? Just sign on, check it out. Check it out. Well that's our show for you today. Um I, uh, oh, I, 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 uh, the pizza tour, I, I did have something lined up, I can't remember, I don't have, I can't, I don't have it in front of me what it was, and, um, I'm not actually ready to talk about that right now at this second, um, but, uh, we are going to sign off, but first, before we leave, we just want to say, uh, I am a member of the Pizzeria Badia squad, and it is corn pizza season. Our biggest and craziest pizza of the year. And in my opinion, the best tasting special we have. Come in and try it. It's nuts. Marinated tomatoes. Bacon. Roasted corn. Roasted corn cream. Cheeses. Two different mo kinds of mozz. A gouda. Basil. Basil vin. It's nuts. It'll knock your socks off. Also, from the same restaurant group, Picnic in East Kensington just opened up and uh, you know what they say sometimes even a picnic isn't a picnic but this one always is and with that we uh, we're just going to hear a final word from Donald Trump and then we're gonna call it a day folks I know a lot of you are thinking about voting for me this season instead of Joe Biden cr crazy Joe Biden and Obama but I'm here to tell you today that we're, I will be renewed for season nine of the Shock Opera. And 
the uh, and the craziness of the Trump era. I say the craziness because it's going to be a wild ride. If you thought it was wild before, it's going to be wild again. So get out there and vote. And make sure, uh, you know, you remember that everybody is getting old nowadays. The world moves at an accelerated rate. I said uh, the other day I was, trying, I was wondering what would be a worse way to die. Would I rather die of electric shock or there's a shark 10 meters over there in the water. And I said, I'll tell you what, folks, I'm not going in near that shark. I would not want to die by a shark bike. I, you know, I never liked Jaws. I never was a fan of the movie Jaws. I never really cared for Richard Dreyfus, to be honest with you. I never cared for him that much. But I'll tell you this, folks. Thank you for listening to the show. We love you, you American people. And join us next time on what's going to be another terrific, terrific show of the unexpected Thrill of a Lifetime podcast. Thank you. This is the air.